Hey, welcome back. Let's continue learning about the GameMaker Audio Engine. This video is going to be specifically about what an emitter is, how to get started using them, and I'm going to use it specifically for the task of separating background music and all other sound effects with separate volume controls. Okay, I know emitters can be used for a lot more. There's some videos on that uh, afterwards, but that's what this one's about, right? Volume control using emitters. Very nice and easy for beginners. Uh, highly recommend way to do it. So for those that don't know what emitter is, GameMaker uh, obviously has a little 3D space here, X, Y, and Z in the world. And what you do is usually when you play a sound, uh, the program sort of assumes you're the listener at the very center of the world, zero, zero, zero. Usually when you play a sound with audio play sound, you're playing the sound right at that location, right? So it's as if there's like a speaker playing the sound there. What you do with an emitter is you get to put the emitter anywhere in the room you want, and then when you play sound, you actually get to say, play the sound from that emitter. So it'll sound like the sound is coming from over there. If the emitter is really far away, the sound could sound quieter, um, it could sound like it's to the right. If you have surround sound, you can make it sound like it's behind you, in front of you. And that's sort of the purpose of emitters. They can actually do a lot of cool things. This video is just going to focus on how to use them for volume control. So I'm actually not going to position my emitters anywhere special. I'm actually going to make my emitters right at the center of the room with the listener. So let's get started on that. So what I've done here is I have this object called sound control. And let's see what I've done in the create method. Okay, so I have a couple variables here. Let's make this a little bigger. And what you're going to see here is I've got my three variables that you've seen in the previous video. Master volume, music volume, and effects volume. Okay, I think it's sort of obvious what those three would do. So you'll see here that I've created two emitters with audio emitter create. Now when you create an emitter, it sends you back an ID number so that you can you know, remember a reference to that emitter. And that's important because I'm going to use this saved ID number for the emitter so, uh, to control it, to say, hey, volume on this emitter, position of the emitter, you know, and stuff like that, right? You need it to control the emitter. So global music emitter, I'm remembering 90, and there's my other emitter that I'm going to play the sound effects on, okay? Effects emitter, so two of them. When these emitters are made, they're made at zero, zero, zero in the uh, game maker world, right with the listener, right? So the volume will be nice, full volume, okay? For this tutorial, I leave them there, okay? I'm not actually going to move my emitters. Um, here, I'm setting some volumes before everything starts. Uh, even though everything is set to one by default, just to let you know that this is going on, I set the master gain, right, sound for all the program to master volume of one. And I set the emitters. Emitter gain is the command to control the gain of an individual emitter. So I give it the emitter, global music emitter, and I set it to global music volume. And I do the same thing with the effects. Okay, the effects emitter and effects volume. This is nice if you actually loaded these numbers up from a file. You could load them up from a file and then set them right away when the game starts. So it's a, sort of like a save settings, right? So let's go take a look at how I actually play the sounds now. So let's go to the player. I hit the space bar. You'll remember from other videos, I was playing the Canon sound. Now just look at how this script is a little bit different. Instead of audio play sound, now I'm using audio play sound on. And when you use this script, you can see at the bottom there, you give it the emitter ID. So I want to play this sound on this emitter, okay, the effects emitter, and then the rest is normal. Canon sound, okay, not looping, priority one, okay. And you'll see I do the same thing with the thing. When the thing is playing its screech noise there, same thing. I play sound on the effects emitter. Okay, so it does the same thing. And the background music, I have a little background music object, and it plays the background music, of course, on the music emitter ID. Okay, so there, there, there's a separation there. Now let's take a look at when I actually go to control the volume of these individual things, how easy it is. Uh, not a lot of lines for all this, but when I go to my sound control object, 
all I have to do now, uh, let's just walk through. I'll start you with master. So the up the master volume. I can up the master volume and just use audio master gain. Okay, the total global volume control. Global master volume, right? Get set. So that's perfect. Let's see what happens when I go to up the music volume. I'm hitting the I key. And you'll see here this time, I up the music volume. And I use this command, audio emitter gain, which does what it sounds like it does. It takes the emitter and it changes its volume. And so now you just, hey, that emitter, set it to that value. All sounds playing on that emitter now and all sounds playing on that emitter in the future will be played at that volume. Okay, perfect. And same thing with the sound effects. The only difference here, whoops, is same command, audio emitter gain, but this time I use the effects emitter with global effects volume. And when you actually give this a run, it actually works nicely. It's a nice clear separation. It doesn't matter if you have a hundred effects, hundred effects. So there's the master volume, there's the music volume, so I can turn the music off. And using O and L, I can turn the effects down until we have none, right? When I'm doing my stuff here. So we have nice full control, right? Of all the sounds. Now, some people might say at this point, you know what? You're using the emitters for something they're not really supposed to be used for. Uh, I think that's bogus. This is exactly what emitters can be used for. Okay, and it works nicely. But Game Maker Studio, the latest updates, they've actually added audio groups, which basically do this exact same task. So the next video is going to use audio groups. The only problem with audio groups is, is that there's a slight, uh, slight extra complexity to using them because you have to load the groups you know, when the game starts and make sure they've been loaded. Uh, these emitter stuff, this will just work for the beginner, no problem. Okay, so this is one nice, simple use for emitters, using them for volume control. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.